guys hello welcome back to my channel please comment share like subscribe if any of this is resonating for you love all my subs you guys are so amazing thanks for hanging in there with me guys yeah so many awesome things that happened today got to hang out with my buds my church buds um just really great day just to hang out and be with other christians <laughs> which is so amazing um yeah and just spread the word spread the word guys um, yeah, dude, in church, so amazing. Okay, so last week I felt urged, I think I mentioned this last week, I felt urged to share a piece of scripture that I kept on getting with my church, finally. <laughs> and it was Revelations chapter 1, verse 16. And it was talking about the seven stars and the sharp two-edged sword yeah, the sharp two-edged sword, and then the sun shining. Remember with the SS? So anyways, fast forward to this week in church. Dude, this is so amazing. So uh, this pastor that was preaching this morning, he wasn't even supposed to preach. <laughs> and he was just called to. And before he went up to preach, he was telling the story as he was about to give a sermon. His buddy from Dallas calls him <laughs> and he's like, dude, um, I just wanted to tell you good luck today and may your, may your sermon today be like a sharp sword, <laughs> like the sharp two-edged sword, <laughs> which is so amazing. And uh, yeah, so that's super cool. And then um, last week also, I was getting to uh, talk about... I don't know, this might have been a couple couple of days ago, guys, with Isaiah chapter 28. Remember, I was reading line by line. Uh, can't remember <laughs> what else it said. By, line by line was one of the lines. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he mentioned that in, um, in the sermon today, which was so cool because it was, you know, something I just recently looked up, which is so great, guys. And uh, I'm going to read, actually, from what he was preaching about today, which is... 1 Corinthians chapter 14, and it's verses 13 to 25. And it's therefore one who speaks in a tongue should pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. What am I to do? I will pray with my spirit, but I, I will pray with my mind also. I will sing praise with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. Otherwise, if you give thanks with your spirit, how can anyone in the position of an outsider say amen to your thanksgiving when he does not know what you are saying? For you may be giving thanks well enough, but the other person is not being built up. I thank God that I speak in tongues more than all of you. Nevertheless, in church, I would rather speak five words with my mind in order to instruct others than 10,000 words in a tongue. Brothers, do not be children in your thinking, be infants in evil, but in your thinking be mature. In the law it is written, by people of strange tongues and by the lips of foreigners will I speak to this people, and even then they will not listen to me, says the Lord. Thus tongues are a sign not for believers but for unbelievers, while prophecy is a sign not for unbelievers but for believers. If therefore the whole church comes together and all speak in tongues, and outsiders or unbelievers enter, will they not say that you are out of your minds? But if all prophecy and an unbeliever, sorry guys, sorry, and an unbeliever or outsider enters, he is convicted by all. He is called to account by all. The secrets of his heart are disclosed. And so falling on his face, he will worship God and declare that God is really among you. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> so amazing, so amazing, so true, so true. Yeah, I have confidence <laughs> that it's true, bro. Um, yeah, so also expanding upon that, what the pastor was talking about, he said, um, with tongues, it's a sign for those who have rejected God, and it's a sign of judgment. And then the prophecy is a sign of a blessing for believers and inquirers, <laughs> which is so beautiful. So awesome, guys. Yeah, so... Oh, dude, and also, in this part of scripture, it's talking about, uh, yeah, he was trying to prophesy towards, um, towards these guys because, or to these guys, 
because the Assyrians were about to destroy them. <laughs> That's what I was getting to. And he was like, yo, guys, <laughs> buckle up, listen up, okay? Yeah, um, if you do have gifts, it's it's uh, to build up the body of Christ, okay? Um, yeah, there is some exhortation to it, but I mean, it's, you know, it's so we can repent and move forward. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are just doing so amazing. Like, my heart feels <laughs> very light, dude. Very light. Um, yeah, I had a dream last night, and it was like, um, it was almost like this um, meeting table. <laughs> like an, an old school style um, meeting table. And, um... <laughs> there were like um it, it was a whole bunch of people that had some shifty eyes <laughs> going on and um yeah there there were seats around them <clears throat> and they were empty yeah so I, I feel like a lot of you have left <laughs> I want to get that yeah um a lot of you have left which is beautiful guys yeah it's important that you do so um <laughs> whoa bro so I'm supposed to read Isaiah chapter one and yeah, up until verse one to verse 20, okay? And this is the wickedness of Judah. Uh, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, jo Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Yodid, and also, I keep on getting stuff about Judah and Jerusalem. <laughs> like, yeah, keep on getting stuff about those two. So, yeah, buckle up, guys. And the wickedness of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's, its master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Alas, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a brood of evildoers, children who are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked to anger the Holy One of Israel. They have turned away backward. Why should you be stricken again? You will revolt, revolt, sorry, more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faints. From the sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed or bound up or soothed with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Strangers devour your land in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. So the daughter of Zion is left as a booth with a vineyard, as a hut in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Unless the Lord of hosts had left to us a very small remnant, we would have become like Sodom. We would have been made like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the Sabbaths, and the calling of assemblies, I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. <laughs> Learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Holy. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. But I feel like you guys are really doing amazing. 
I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you guys are happy. <laughs> it's so great. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel that one. <laughs> it's so awesome, guys. I love y'all so much. Please continue to do the right thing. Okay? We cannot stop now. We have uh, a whole whole lot more to go. Um, 260-something episodes. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys so much. Please hit me up for prayer. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.